Good morning. Good morning. Your crappy butt last night. Yeah, he's like, Mama, I'm going back to bed. Good night. Hi, <laughs> can I have your nookie? Can I have your nookie? Noah is having some waffles, gogur, and green juice. Weston already ate his food. He had green juice and a pancake sausage. Thomas is having a waffle and his little pouchy that he is still working on. And then the other two are still sleeping. Thomas was up quite a bit last, whoa, there's like a bunch of water that came out of this. Tom was up a little bit quite a lot last night. Um, I don't know why, I don't know if he's teething. He wanted to nurse, which usually he nurses before bed and then he'll like get up at like five to nurse, but he wanted to nurse in the middle of the night, which is a little strange. Oh, maybe he's like hitting a glow spurt. I have no idea, but it was a long night. And then not only did he wake up at his normal like five o'clock to nurse and then like the one o'clock, he was also up at seven. So we're just a little tired. I'm like breaking out cause it's like, that time of the month but it is friday usually my husband has fridays off but since he had he had like a long time off like he was home friday saturday sunday monday tuesday so he had monday friday off and then tuesday was a holiday so it was like a nice little vacation but um since he did have like that monday and tuesday off um he's working today friday obviously so um, yeah, my days are just like all over the place, so I don't really know. It's, to me, it feels like a Wednesday. I need to actually start getting the kids um, Western Noah's school supplies um, ready for summer school because they start summer school on Monday. So we're gonna make this coffee and we're just gonna like chill out for a sec. I'm actually like waiting to start my coffee because Thomas is almost done and I don't wanna like, you guys know me, like I like to drink my coffee in peace and like when the kids are eating breakfast and I'm trying to get them breakfast, like it's just gonna get cold. So I try to get them situated and breakfast and done with breakfast and cleaned up before I make my coffee. So I'm kind of like delaying, but I wanted to like start this like new thing. Maybe I will once the boys go to summer school because we're gonna have to get up kind of early anyways. Um, I wanna get up before the kids because I wanna have my coffee beforehand like i want to have my coffee before i get them breakfast and just kind of have like that me time um but lately with like tom getting up it's just i'm so tired so then like we just sleep sleep in till like 7 30 and so um yeah but i do want to start that i want to like get up for the kids i want to chill out i want to have me time i don't like really watch my shows anymore like i just want to have like me time drink my coffee do what i want without like kids on top of me. You ate all your food. Good job. Yummy waffles. You got one more. One more waffle. You got one more. Here. Can we eat this last one? You want to do it? You do it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, it dropped. Good job. You ate all your food. Tommy's in like this stage toddler stage where they are eating a bunch but then the next day they don't want to eat anything and then the next day they are eating a ton. You get your babas? Come on. Come on. Alright, he has his babas. We're going to start making our coffee now. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. How'd you sleep? Good. You want some waffles? Yeah. Yeah. Charlie's grabbing his green juice. Let me see the back of your hair. Your hair's getting so long again. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He's gonna have a yogurt with his waffles. Apparently Noah showed Tom a picture and he's been running around with it. Let me see Tom. Can I see the picture? Oh, is that you and Noah? Wow, give him kissy. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. That's Noah. Yeah, right here is Noah and you as a baby. Okay. <laughs> Thomas is down for a nap, and I need to, I really need to like deep clean my house this weekend. 
sometimes I don't like writing stuff down on like my phone. I would rather just like write it down on a piece of paper. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Write down everything I need to get done this weekend. And um, then I can just like cross it off, put it on my fridge. But I need to deep clean. Like we have, we just deep cleaned like our bathrooms, but like we need to deep clean our carpets, our walls, um, and our floors. Those are like the main things. I feel like every time I film, it's like Friday and we need groceries, but we like weekly grocery shop. I don't know if I'm gonna put a haul in here um, or like a shop with me, but I do also need to figure out like our grocery situation and um, like our meal plan for the next week. Oh, I just like, I'm gonna write everything down. I got this done. I also started deep cleaning. So I uh, deep clean the front of the fridge. I do need to deep clean the inside. And I'm looking at it. I need to deep clean our Keurig. But I also cleaned the stove and um, the dishwasher because there's a lot of fingerprints I get on those too. And so now they look good. So that's only gonna last for about a couple hours. I also deep cleaned these two little walls right here and this basement door. But I have our grocery list written out um, and our meal plan. And so we are having a couple leftovers. I have our grocery list right here. I just don't have like snacks and stuff on here, but um, that is all done and ready to go. I did make myself an iced coffee while the kids were eating lunch. They had meatballs. I did a whole um, TikTok vlog if you guys wanna go see that. That will be linked down below. Kitchen is semi-clean, dishes are done. I did not deep clean the sink just because we still have dinner. Um, I usually do that at night. Like I give it a good scrub every night, but the kitchen is cleaned and the living room is also clean. Thomas did not get a good morning nap, so he's a little crabby, but we're gonna play with some toys. So he has his big rings and his little rings, and he also has, this is, we call him Rocker. So what do you wanna do? Does it go on this one? Whoa, or does it go on this one? Which one? You think it goes on that one? It's like, I want him on the big one. There you go, good job. If you had to get rid of one chore, one chore for someone to do for you, what chore would that be? Because for me, I don't know if I'd rather have someone do my dishes or my laundry or like cook for me. I feel like I would do laundry. Like if someone could just come and do all my laundry every single day, clean it, fold it, wash it, whatever, I'd be happy. I can do the dishes, I can cook the food, I can clean up, I can deep clean the bathroom, but laundry is never ending. And when I mean laundry, I mean you need to strip the beds, all the rugs in the house, the towels, everything. Everything included with laundry. That's the chore I would choose. What would you choose if you could have any chore done for you? Gage is currently working on this little Tykes doom buggy. They actually sent us quite a bit of stuff last fall. The main thing was the Halloween cauldron. Yep. And they also sent like the pencil learning and the, just a couple things. And one of the big items was this dune buggy. So we are going to put it together now that it is warm outside and we can actually get it together. This is what it looks like. It's a little Tykes dino dune buggy. You guys know our kids love the ride on cars. We have our Mercedes. We have our Porsche. No. What no, is that? The black one? Yeah, I think it's a Bentley. And then the Mercedes. Yep, and the Mercedes. And then like the black whatever Bentley. I don't think it's a Bentley. I think it's a Porsche. No, I don't think it's a Porsche. I don't know. And then now we have this dune buggy. It's currently oh, 250. Oh, here's our so let's see how long it takes. 250? It's 250. So let's see how long this takes to it's set up. It's 250 man. It's two o'clock. 250. So that means it will get done in like it's 250? Yeah. Oh, so let's yeah, see how long it takes. And let's see how long we have swim since dad and I also have one of these Mike's Hard Pink Freeze. Now the pack is not good. I don't recommend it, but the pink and the white one are good. But the blue one and I don't they're know just what. A little syrupy. Yeah, they're just too like sweet for me. But since we have them, I'll drink them. But the pink one's not terrible. Tom, are you being a helper? Are you sitting in your chair listening to music? He's tired. It 
it took one hour to build and the boys are waiting to go for a drive. I don't know how long it takes to charge though. I made Tommy chicken and stars. He loves soup, especially the chicken and stars one. He's gonna have his lunch and then he's gonna go take his nap and then I'm gonna start the older kids lunch. Um, he's just getting tired. He's so used to his 10 o'clock nap and it's currently 11.30 so he's kind of getting crabby and he was also up every two to three hours last night. But with soup, I usually feed it to him. It's just easier. Um, and then the kids, I'm just going to make, um, they're currently having their snack. I'm going to put like a little video right here um, making the snack. I posted that to my TikTok as well. Um, but I think I'm also going to, they're currently swimming. And so they're having Cheez-Its, cucumbers, strawberries, um, blueberries. Tommy also had cucumbers. He loves cucumbers. He also had a couple strawberries. He had an applesauce. He's just been kind of like snacking all morning since breakfast. I want to lay him down and the kids aren't quite ready for lunch yet because they are snacking on that stuff. So I'm going to feed Tommy and then lay him down for just his afternoon nap instead of like a morning nap. He only has like one nap a day. Um, rarely he has two naps a day. I will lay him down for two naps if he doesn't take a good morning nap um just because by like 2 33 he's very crabby and he needs that second nap nami you do it nami here you got a little bit more on there ah so good so nami good job for his show and I was actually thinking about doing whatnot myself. I have so many kids clothes, so many baby clothes, so many things that like I've just been holding on to that, well, a lot of girl clothes too because we saved a lot of Maya's clothes in case we had a girl. Um, but there's a lot of kids clothes that we have saved in tubs that I was thinking about, you know, either bringing to like once upon a child, but then like I've seen whatnot and I feel like I could sell it for a little bit cheaper than like what Once Upon a Child would sell it for because there's some stuff at Once Upon a Child. No, wait, I like Once Upon a Child. Sometimes you can find good deals, but also if you're in like a really like expensive neighborhood, I'm just going to put that out there. If you're in an expensive neighborhood, they mark their sales, they mark their prices up because I have seen Cat and Jack, Cat and Jack and Girl Animals at Once Upon a Child for five, six, seven dollars. And I'm like, girl, you can get that for like on clearance, a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars at Walmart or Target. Yeah, I was thinking about doing whatnot and just starting like all of the clothes, like the kids' clothes, maybe my clothes, just like I don't know. Just like it whatnot so like a selling platform. That's what my husband does. He sells cards. Um but I was just thinking about selling stuff, like starting at a dollar. Let me know if you guys like know whatnot and like would be interested in that. I'm thinking about maybe selling some of like my cups that I have that I like no longer use. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This was just like a little behind the scenes. My hair's like really puffy. Um, also, I get a couple questions on what I do my backgrounds on, cap cut, and then how I edit my videos. And I use cap cut. I do my backgrounds on Canva. So I just want to know what you guys would think if I did start like a whatnot. I mean, I have a whatnot, um, but like if I started selling on there, like I said, everything would literally start at a dollar. So um, let me know your opinions. I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you in our next one. Bye.